both did. I'm sure Jason knows that. Thank you, Forrest. I really hope so. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. It's all right, Peggy. I understand. Do what you need to do. Thank you, Casey. I'll be right back. Um, Forrest? Yes, Casey? Before Jason passed out, I... I asked him who did this, and I think he knew who attacked him. Are you serious? Yeah. He said it had to do with a boy named George Barrow? It all keeps coming back to George Barrow. He said that George died during... God, what was it? Whistling night? Some kind of prank night. And that the person who stabbed him wanted revenge for George. Casey, are you absolutely sure this is what Jason said? Yeah, I think so. Jason still seemed with it when he was telling me. So I don't doubt what he said. Did you say Jason told you who the whistling man is? He did. He said it was a woman. They went to school together. Somebody called Mer What? What happened? Are we still on air? No. No, we're not. Seems like the power is completely gone. How do we get it back on? I don't... Uh... Oh, we can use the emergency generator down in the basement. Reggie picked it up a while ago in case we ever needed to do an emergency broadcast. An emergency broadcast? Emergency? You know, nuclear war, alien attack, broadcasting a serial killer's location to the cops so we can end this nightmare? Fair point! It's in the storage area in the far back corner up on the wall. You might have spotted it earlier when you were digging around for all those tapes. It'll have a big red button. Just press that. I'll see you when you're back. Ich brauch den Killer nicht hinhalten. Er ist bei uns im Studio. Hallo? Ihr könnt mich mal. Das wollte ich mal getan haben. So richtig langsam öffnen. Ich habe hier überall Mausefallen hingelegt. Ich sehe den Scheiß da durch. Ja, genau. back corner. Why is this station so big? That must be it. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. Was ist man selber nicht dran sterben?
Peggy! Peggy! Einsatz Null! Die hat dich doch eingesperrt, oder nicht? Oh shit! Peggy! Where did you go? No way. This can't be happening. Er ist durch meine, durch meine Sachen gegangen. Ich gehe einfach nicht ran. Ja, und jetzt? Did Don press the Peggy button? Did she want me to hit it on my end? Fuck you. Siehst du das? Fuck you. Da steht Fuck you. Oh. Alles Liebe zum Geburtstag, Peck. Du bist jetzt 8 und eine Pracht. Hab dich lieb. XX. Wir haben ja Zeit, ne? Mach auf das Ding. Die Tür um! Oh, Was ist denn das? Wow! What do you want? Good to talk to you again, Forrest. You know, I've really enjoyed our chats tonight. I guess we've had some moments. My favorite was when Ricky ran you out of the rink. Ha! Huh. You sure did get me then, Forrest. Where's Peggy? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. But it's not over just yet. We've got a little time still. So let's make the most of it. Reminds us. What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well... Huh? Oh, I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. Oh, let me take that out of your mouth and... You crazy bitch! Let me go! Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. Wait. It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved... Zwei, ich wusste es. Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. And if he says where that is, well, he knows he'll get it. Wer ist denn hier? Wait, who am I looking at? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallant's Creek to my boy. Henry Barrow. Your son? You mean you... But he... Yes, Forrest. He and I had a son. Of course. That explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. Hang on. Did you say... Barrow? That... Are you? Let me just get this mask off. <sighs> Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. <sighs> There we go. Gab immer mehrere. Marie Campbell? George's old girl. Oh. Well, it sure has been years since I last saw. Oh, God. Äh. Also doch nicht Dawn. Marie Campbell. So not Dawn, huh? No. Not 
not done. What are you going to... Uh, uh. Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You... Ah. You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment before. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Wieso sollte ich? Why should I play any part in this? Because I think you believe in justice. You think this is justice? You have no goddamn idea, Forrest. These people, these people you've been trying to save, they were all in on it. They all knew George was murdered, but... Murdered? Uh, listen, I... I said you speak when you're spoken to. <sighs> now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. And that's why I want you to interview us. Am I serious? You, you want me to interview you? Am I serious? After everything tonight, you really have to ask me if I'm serious. Uh... Do a good job. And hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. <sighs> I need to drag this out. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek, and if I can find out where Marie is, then this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Just uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 <laughs> years ago. You want to die, Teddy? Because if you don't, start talking. Uh, oh. What the hell? God damn it. Okay. Our <laughs> okay. first team party <laughs> was coming up. And when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. Die Nacht, in der Mooney verschwand? It was the night Mooney... The original Whistling Man vanished. Isn't that right? That's right. And hell, it seemed too perfect to pass up. I was just surprised no one had ever thought to do it before. Wait, you mean this was the first Whistling Night? I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God was there. Me, Jason, and George, of course. Uh, but George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. And Roller Ricky, he was there too, wasn't he? Yes, Ricky was there too. Runner Ricky, our wide receiver. I helped him off the bottle, you know, because I'm a decent man. Is that so? Yes, it is. He came apart one day. Some people do. He had some issues. Wasn't stable. I didn't want him to hurt his chances in life. So, I helped him keep himself together. You were afraid he would talk about that night, weren't you? Keep talking. About midway through the night? We put the prank into action. We looked up at the trees and saw Jason there, bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man, everyone ran, screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. But Ricky was in on it too. I know he was. He and Teddy were as close as anybody. Teddy must have told him the plan. Hast du Ricky gefragt? Did you ask Ricky if he knew or not? I didn't see any reason to. Why? Because Ricky phoned up early. He didn't know anything about it, Marie. What? He had no idea what was happening. He said he was as terrified as anybody. 
Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. If we told him, he would have given everything away. But he... well... It doesn't matter. He didn't run his mouth enough to tell anybody about it afterwards. He's still guilty. It was just a stupid prank. How can you still say it was just a prank? Oh, come on! I... Oh, God! <laughs> Eat five. George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. If I'd saved Jason, maybe I could have derailed her for a bit. Enough about him. Me and George took off running, but... Somehow, we got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point. And when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the Whistling Man grabs me. I scream, and he starts laughing, telling me it's, it was just a joke. I can stop the time here. Wie hast du dich gefühlt? How did you feel in that moment? I felt like nothing was real. I felt small and confused. And Wer war unter der Maske? Who was under the mask, Marie? Who was the whistler? It was Chuck. Chuck Brody. Laughing away. But then he stops. Looking up at the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? <laughs> Teddy, what happened next? Nothing. I mean, it was just Teddy. George fell off Whistling Point. Wo warst du? Wo warst du, wenn es passiert? Ich, äh... Du hast ihn gemacht. Du warst da oben. Du warst auch als der Whistling Man. Und... Ich habe ihn nicht gepusht. Verdammt! Ich habe ihn nur da oben gepusht. Und... Er hat sich zurückgezogen. Als ich sah, dass er über die Tür gehen wollte, habe ich ihn gesehen. Das ist, was du gesehen hast. Du bist ein Liar! Es ist nicht mein Fall. Er hat nicht gewusst, dass es ein Witz war. If he'd had any brains, he would have realized. Ugh, you bitch. No one's going to believe this. After all you did. Ich glaube ihr, was soll dann die ganze Vertuschung, selbst wenn du ihn nicht geschubst hast? Was soll dann die ganze Vertuschung? She's lying. Why the cover up? My future was at stake, Nash. You know what it's like. People like us are bred for bigger things. I'm going to be the mayor of this town, Boris. And then governor. And then, who knows? What happened that night was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke, gone wrong. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Clive, that's it. Should have left. Ruined my future. George was a blip. That's an evil thing to say, Teddy. That's the way it is. My father agreed with me. Sandra found him the next morning while out jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. She said something about her rent going up, unless she... Teddy, did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance studio? It's Gallows Creek, not Sharp Creek. Beantworte die Frage. Ich habe die Frage, wenn ich du wärst, Teddy. Ja, okay. Wir haben die meisten Städte. Das ist es dann. 
your father was going to run her out of business unless she lied and said she found him in the reservoir instead of the river. What my father did in his business dealings is nothing to do with me. False reports. That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews too, isn't it, Maria? Not just to get him out of the way, but... Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. And... I saw. I'm... I'm sorry. If Dr. Sullivan had survived, then maybe... There's no excuse for what she did, Forrest. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper. But no! That coward killed the story. But... Maurice Russell is dead now. Das muss die Hölle für dich gewesen sein. Das muss aufhören. Wann hört das Töten endlich auf? Das muss die Hölle für dich gewesen sein. Wir müssen auf ihre Gefühle eingehen. The fuck do you want, huh? I see not know where they met each other. War das die Rollschulbahn, der Fußballplatz oder die Turnhalle? Ich weiß das doch nicht mehr auswendig. Marie, wieso hast du hier keine... Oder... Wie heißt die Tante, die hier war? Ich brauche Notizen! Du kleiner Keck. Der Footballplatz klingt so obvious, aber irgendwie... Gerade eben klang das einer auch obvious und es war auch richtig. Wieso habe ich denn die ganze Zeit die Rollschulbahn im Kopf? You're at the roller ring. Jesus Christ! Forest, you... Fuck you. Idiot. <lacht> Die Dinger da noch umgefallen sind. Hä? Nein! So. In the gymnasium. That's right, Forrest. Not that it matters, but yes, we're here. Anyway, I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. So. Peggy! Teddy? You've got to help me. I... Quiet. You'll talk more later. Now I have to talk to someone who mattered more than you ever did. Peggy. It's been so long since I've seen your face. I worried you wouldn't come. Marie! Oh my god. I thought you... And here I was, thinking you'd forgot me. I'd never forget my own sister. Will someone please explain to me what's happening? Wanna explain, Peggy? Earlier, while you were speaking to Casey, I got a call. You remember? Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out that my sister is the Whistling Man. Good to see you too, Peggy. Why didn't you tell me any of this? 
She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio. And I just... I'm sorry. This has to be a lot for you. I just... What happened to you, Marie? You just disappeared one day. Disappeared? I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They told me to stay quiet. They only cared when they learned that I'd been with George. And... And... Uh, Marie, I'm so sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Really, it's Mom and Dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead and gone, well... I'll have to settle for the next um. best thing. Marie. What? Wait. Is that why you went after that kid in the maze maze? Gene Stein? Because his parents? That's right. Eugene's parents were there that night too. They got themselves killed in a bus accident. And since only their child was left. Murray, please. Mom and Dad are gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. Just like the rest. You forgot. Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She, she kept it here on her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. What does it say then? Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love M. I. Well, I. Henderson Police! Free! Damn! No! Henry! Get out of there! Peggy! Ah! We have two wounded, and we're in pursuit of the suspect. Henderson Police! Freeze! Forrest! Leslie! How's Peggy? She's been cut pretty bad, but we're here now. We'll be okay. I need you to look after Peggy. She needs help. Now, we got here just in the nick of time. Where's Marie? She bolted right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. It's over, Forrest. Well, folks, it was a long night, but we made it through together. I'm gonna head off to go check on Peggy. This is Ben. Forrest Nash. And it's been a scream. <lacht> Boo! Wir fehlen beide Anspieler. Forrest Nash überlebt den Pfeifer. Oha, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Warte mal. Gibt es auch leiser? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. 7 von 21 gerettet, Alter, äh, gestorben. Ist doch eine gute Quote. Ich dachte, irgendwie hat sich das eingeführt, es wären viel mehr gestorben. Teddy hat überlebt, Alter. Schmutz. What the hell? Das ist laut, ey. Kommt nur was, weil er gerade den Bulle annimmt. Ich verfolge den ja noch. Einer ist entkommen und einer lebt noch. Äh. Einer wird gefangen, einer entkommen. Okay, das war's. Oh, oh. 
Okay. Äh. War ein sehr cooles Spiel mit sehr coolen Rätseln und diesen Herausfinden und Pipapo und Tun und Machen. Ich muss ehrlich sagen, ich war oftmals verwirrt. Aber ich glaube, es lag mehr an mir als an dem Spiel, weil ich einfach entweder haben die Macher eine Denkweise, auf die ich nicht klar kam, oder ich habe einfach zu kompliziert gedacht oder irgendwie. Man weiß es nicht. Aber ich muss ehrlich sagen, ich habe mehr gerettet, als ich gedacht habe. Deswegen, äh, und wir haben das gute Ende bekommen. Natürlich mit ein bisschen Tricksen da mit der Tonhalle gedönt, aber das war. Dann kann man ja mal drüber hinwegsehen, ne? <lacht> mit dem Speicher. <lacht> Ähm. Ja. Ansonsten würde ich sagen, Kuss, 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 alle eingeschaltet haben. Ich habe gerade überlegt, ob man noch den anderen Ablauf anguckt, aber wir nehmen es so, wie es ist. Vielleicht spielen wir es ja irgendwann nochmal in Zukunft. Vielleicht mal im Stream oder so. Und äh, wenn es euch gefällt, das Game, könnt ihr auf Steam holen. Es gibt auch, wie gesagt, eine VR-Variante. Ich weiß nur nicht, in welchem Store die VR-Variante ist vielleicht in dem Oculus Store oder so. Ähm, VR ist bestimmt auch geiler. Ja. Ich hätte sie gerne auch gehabt. Ich, ich hätte gerne früher gewusst, dass es davon eine VR-Variante gibt. Die habe ich leider erst im Nachhinein gesehen. Ansonsten sehen wir uns vielleicht bei den nächsten Horror, Thriller. Ich weiß gar nicht, wozu ich das Cory einkategorieren soll. Ich dachte ehrlich, das kommt viel mehr Horror-Sachen. Ich dachte, es wäre mehr Horror und weniger Thriller, nenne ich mal. Naja. Aber es war ein schönes Spiel und äh, sehr cool gemacht. Mal anders. Kuss, 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 alle, die eingeschaltet haben. Wir sehen uns im nächsten Projekt. Haut da rein. Tschüss.